Hi, I'm Steve Jones, and I'm going to talk about how to factor in maths. Now, these numbers, 25, 60, 48, 39, 77, these don't look at anything special, and they're not. They're just ordinary numbers. But there is something special about all of them, that is, they are not prime numbers. That is, they are special in that they have things called factors. So, obviously, 25, we know that 25 divides by 5, 25 is, in fact, 5 times 5. In fact, 25 has got three factors. It's got 1, it's got 5, and it's got 25. So 125 gives you 25, 5 times 5 gives you 25. There are no other combinations. Now, what about 60? Well, we know 60 will divide by 2 which gives you 30. And we know that 30, again, we can divide by 2. So it's 2 by 2, 4. 4 fifteens. And we know 15 is 3 times 5. So the factors of 60 are 1, 2, 3, 5, but there are also other factors. For example, 10 is a factor. 15 is a factor. 30 is a factor. And 60 is a factor. So this has a lot of factors. So all of these are factors of 60. That is, 30 times 2 gives me 60. 60 times 1. 15 times I've got one missing, haven't I? Because 2 times 2 is 4, so 4 also is a factor. So with a number like 60, we have a lot of factors. This is very important when we're reducing fractions and things of that kind, that we need to find these factors. 39 is a little bit unusual. 48 is a bit like 60, but 39 is a bit unusual, because you know 39... Well, 13 is certainly a factor, and 3 is a factor, 39 is a factor, and 1 is a factor. This is quite unusual, very few factors. 77, well, we know that 11 is a factor, and 7 is a factor, so is 1, and so is 77. But you'll notice... For example, if I look at the number 7, I know in terms of factors, there are only 2, 7 and 1. And you can say the same of 3 and of 2 and of 1. All of these are prime numbers and they have two factors, themselves and 1. So a prime number has just two factors, itself and one, but most of the numbers have several factors, and you can find those factors simply by looking to see what divides into the number, trial and error, if it divides, if it doesn't. Once you get to a prime number like 7, 3, 2 or 1, you can't go any lower. It won't factorise anymore.